Hi, Martin here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a ATI Super Damper. Now this one here I got from AirRam Performance at AirRam.com. Now Nick, the guy that owns AirRam, designed this, gave all the numbers to ATI to, and they produced the uh, Super Damper. So without Nick, this harmonic balancer would not exist. So let me tell you, if you're going to order one of these, show him a little love and appreciation and order it from him. It also comes with a, this would be up to you when you order it, a standard pulley or you get the 25% underdrive pulley. And you're going to get more power this way because you get all your accessories, air conditioning, water pump, and your power steering are all going to turn 25% slower. So as you can see, I already got this thing tore apart pretty much. If you want to see how to actually get the radiator out, and mine was equipped with the hydraulic cooling fan, how to tear that out of there. I'll put some links up here above, or if they're not showing up there, check down below in the description. All right, well, let's get started. First thing we want to do is remove the belt. Okay, I'm set up here with a 22 millimeter socket. Slide the pry bar in here. Let's see. Right there. You can find this bolt really tight. I mean, it's 130 foot pounds. This is the simple way of doing it. Because you got, otherwise, you got to use some kind of jaw puller that can be quite difficult. And there are no uh, holes drilled into the harmonic balancer to put bolts through this puller to make it work. Just when you're doing this, make sure everything's clear. You're not behind this water pump pulley or anything else. All right, before we get the new harmonic balance installed, you know, it would probably be a really good idea to go ahead and replace the seal. Now, I know for a fact this seal had been replaced before I purchased the vehicle, and that's, you know, it over 20,000 miles ago. And the reason I know that is because that cylinder head was replaced, and they had pulled the cover off, and I, I can just tell that is not the factory one. But anyway, we'll pull that seal out, 
I picked up a new one. Looks like the exact same one that's in there now. This is a National. All right, let's get this seal pulled out. There we go. It came out real easy. Just used this uh, seal puller, picked it up at O'Reilly's. Of course, it messes up the seal. That's okay. Okay, I got the new one right here. I'm just gonna add a little film of oil right here. Now, the trick is getting this seal in here without messing it up. Because I happen to have this uh, chunk of plastic and uh, I took a three inch hole saw, cut this out, I end up with this, and then I ran a one and three eighths inch hole saw through the center of this, and I end up with this nice little piece here. So I should be able to put that seal up there, just kind of get it started a little bit. Place that on there, and now. Almost there. Right. There we go. That worked out really well. Now your damper comes in two pieces, plus the pulley in a separate box. There's your three pieces. Now you gotta bolt these two together. Now they're precision made, and they can go together with some difficulty. And the only thing that's uh, being difficult about it is you're not having it perfectly aligned as you place it in there. You get it in there just even just the slightest kitty wampus in there and it's going to give you a hard time so what I recommend you take your time putting the two halves together I don't even use any bolts to draw the two halves together I don't even recommend it if you just take your time doing this you'll get it each piece has a dimple on it right there next to the bolt where this one also has a dimple next to that bolt hole and on the opposite side as well right there so what you want to do is line up those two bolt holes so place that in there and then just take your time pushing it in here and it will fall right into place If it gets stuck on you, pull it back out, start over. There it goes. Now you know it's fully seated in there when it looks just like that. All right. And then you also notice that all the holes are lined up. If they aren't, you did not get it correct. Actually, I see right there. Now, there's something I want to tell you about on the hardware. This is a T40 Plus. You may have never heard of it. I've never heard of it before until I got this. And the directions will specifically tell you you got to use a T40 Plus Torx to install that and using a regular t40 you'll stick it in there and you'll feel the slop i mean it's really super sloppy i wouldn't risk 
using that to torque these bolts into place because you could end up messing up the bolts and these are probably not at your local hardware store so I did order a full set of the uh, plus size made by these guys right here I got this on Amazon for like $23 for a complete set of 12 like that all right now just go ahead and install your bolts they all come with a uh, blue Loctite on them as well as the ones for the pulley don't install those yet We're just going to snug these down for right now using a cross pattern. I got my torque wrench here set at 192 inch pounds which is 16 foot pounds and that is the torque spec for that if you grab a hold of this firmly you are able to torque it by hand uh, do not place this in a vise because this is your seal surface right here you don't want to mark make any marks on here and I wouldn't recommend putting this in a vise either uh, you don't want to mess up this beautiful finish on here with all these nice degree wheels. Now, if you have one of these, it's like an oil filter wrench. These actually work pretty well. And it's large enough that it will go over this harmonic balancer. one of them again in a star pattern or cross pattern Okay, we got it all torqued properly. Now let's go install it. Now to get the super damper installed, we do need an installation tool. Now they do make a Pacific one. I'll post that part number. And then they got this one right here. I got this one at AutoZone. It is a 27306. This baby right here. All right, so out of this kit, you're just gonna use three pieces. This top shaft here, the bottom one, and then this nut with the bearing on it. All from AutoZone, you rent it for the 60 some dollars, and when you return it, you get all your money back. So it's free. And then another thing, we're gonna to wanna to apply some oil to the end of the shaft, the seal, and the surface as well. Make everything go on a lot smoother and we don't wanna damage that new seal. Okay, align the keyway up with the one on the shaft. Okay, now we're going to install the installation tool. Spin that into the shaft until it bottoms out and then I just back off just like a half a turn. Your factory bolt will not be long enough. And even if it was, I wouldn't use it to draw the bolt in. I mean, you know, what if it only grabbed like two or three threads and you're trying to draw that harmonic balancer in and 
you take a pretty big chance at uh, stripping out the end of the crankshaft threads or the bolt. You're going to hope it's the bolt. One and a quarter inch socket. See, that's what's happening is that the bolt is now getting so long that it's pushing it off the end of the socket. I mean, it's not the socket is not deep enough. Okay, now we're going to show you what what we can do to uh, get past that problem. Now, in this kit that you're going to rent. This piece right down here. This is uh, referred to as A in the uh, kit. Now it has the same threads as the bolt that we've been using on this part. And it is, as you can see, considerably shorter. So what we're going to do, and it doesn't have the hex head on it, but I haven't had to use this at all so far. And then spin it onto here. All right, now go ahead and install it. And screw it in all the way until it bottoms out and then just back off a little bit again. Okay, there it bottomed out. This gives you just this short small part of the shaft sticking out so allows you to stick the socket back on here and we can tighten it down the rest of the way all right And then once you feel it bottom out, and it's going to want to spin the motor over, you know you're there. Now we can go ahead and remove this, and we'll reinstall the bolt. Yeah, and that is proper depth right there. You're going to see probably, you know, like about an eighth of an inch sticking out. Reinstall the bolt. Now comes kind of a tricky part. On our factory damper, our harmonic balancer, we had these cool slots in here that we could simply slide a crowbar through and then it would catch on let's say the water pump or wherever we could get a solid bite on here to keep the motor from turning over and that way you could loosen or tighten that bolt without the motor spinning over well now we don't have that option I mean if I take the pulley that we've got now and I bolt it on there there's no slot there's nothing you know to keep this motor from spinning over to get that to torque to 130 foot pounds. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. What I did is I took a chunk of aluminum that I got laying around, drilled two holes into it. That line up with the pulley holes right here. And this is gonna become our lever where I can bolt this on and we swing this around, where it swings around and it's gonna hit something solid while I get this torqued properly.
I got it snugged up pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and grab the torque wrench. And there we have it, 130 foot-pounds. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and remove this and we'll install the pulley. Nearly done. and then torque them 28 to 30 foot pounds. Now those you're able to go ahead and torque and you're not going to get too much of the motor spin on there. You'll reach the 28 to 30 foot pounds of torque. Since I'm using the smaller diameter pulley, now you got to get yourself a shorter belt as well. If you're going to use the standard pulley, reinstall your belt. I'm using this uh, Continental, it's right there is the part number, 85 and a half inches long. All right, that's looking good. Now as far as the damper installation, we're done. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the uh, radiator and the cooling fan. Get the uh, hoses hooked back up for my hydraulic fan. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and install a new radiator. Because I've been having slight cooling problems. And I just want to make sure that's not one of them. Oh yeah, the motor is definitely a lot smoother. I'm very impressed with this super damper. The engine runs definitely smoother. You can feel that right off of idle. And I can definitely tell the uh, horsepower gain from the 25% underdrive pulley. Uh, and this is something that you ought to include in your engine build. Especially if you're thinking about turning 6,500 RPM or more. Uh, this is an insurance policy for your, the bottom half of your engine. You know, it's going to make the engine run smoother, less vibration. It's going to help keeping that motor 
wanting to tear itself apart, especially at those higher RPMs. So this is something you definitely want to put on your list of mods. If you're looking to put, you know, other bolt-ons onto your engine, this should be one of the things on your list. I want to thank you all for watching. And if you never subscribed to me before, if you would, hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications on any videos that I release. All right. Thanks again.